I had a friend ask me if I had a video on a 7 byte knot and I don't and I don't really have I've got a video explaining the algorithm diagram in a type 2 pineapple but I don't have just a straight up video of a type 2 pineapple and a type 2 pineapple has the the red knot is the primary knot when we tied this then the interweave knot goes from the inside bite boundary there to the outside bite boundary on this side and that's what a type 2 pineapple is so the seven bite knot that i want to tie is a nine part seven bite casa knot now if you tie a casa knot all of that are unders so we're going to tie it as a sobre so that the standing end comes out on top so we can make all of those as an over so if you need a screenshot there you go and we will start tying this knot and what we do is we okay this is about a one inch mandrel this is an inch and a quarter quarter collar and we go over one then over one then over two then over two then over three one two three now over three right alongside of our standing end and now we do an over four one two three four and under our standing end now we do an over four one two three four and under that outside bite now we do over three under over under now we're starting to lock in our over one under one pattern now over three under over under now we're going to go over two and under over under over and under that outside bite and when you do a long jump like that or a lot of sequences it's hard to keep your string straight okay here's our over two right there over two so it's then under one over one under one and pull this out and over this one and under that outside bite now this is our last pass and it's just all over ones and under ones see our tracks right there so we go over this outside bite under then over under over under and I'll straighten this up dig that bite out over under and that brings us back to our standing end and see how our standing end is coming out over the bite the outside bite that is a sobre because sobre means over or covers so it's over so we want a regular knot so with a odd number of parts nine part you can just run this to the other side following our standing end 
then when we get to the other side it goes out under and I just pull my standing end out turn my knot around and now it is a regular knot with the standing end the one with the needle on it now is our standing end and our other one is our our old standing end is now our working end but see how that goes comes out under the bite that's a regular knot okay I'm going to spin this off so we don't hear it clicking and we're going to get another string and now we're going to do a type 2 pineapple in this and we'll just go right alongside our standing end so we're going to go under two this bite that was our working end and that one more right there so that we're standing we're following the right hand side of our standing part okay and we just follow it let's see if our knots about half straight here that's important to do but I'm usually in a hurry in a video and don't do it as much as I should okay so we're following our stand our standing part and we're going through doing the same thing it's doing over under over under over under and we come out of the knot over that outside bite now this is sob skip outside bite see that outside bite normally you would go in right there but we skip that outside bite and we go in over here so we go over under skipping that bite that's the important part of this knot of a type 2 pineapple because we're going to build us a set of bites out here and that's going to be the inside bites okay now that we come in over with an over and an under we're following the strand on our right doing the same thing it's doing over under over and you can see we come to a pair so we go under two and split our pair now we go over one and here is the x that you use for a pineapple interweave this is the one for a herringbone. This is the one for a pineapple. So we're going to go over one and through that under that X. Now we're following the strand on our left. Doing what it's doing. Over, under, over, under. Now we're going to go over under two because this is our pair see our pair right there we're splitting that pair so under two and out over that bite then we sob skip outside bite and come in over under I'm going to push that out so it's there when we get back. Okay, following the strand on the right, so it's over, under, split that pair so it's an under two. Over one, under two, and split that pair. Over and under our cross. Okay, following the strand on our left, over, under, over, under two to split that pair. And then let's over one, under two, over one, out of the knot. 
skip the outside bite, come in over one, under two to split that pair. Over one, under two to split that pair. Over one, under two to split that pair. Over one and under the cross. Okay, follow on that one. Over one, under two to split our pair. Over one, under two to split a pair. Over one, under two, split that pair, and out over that inside bite there. Now we're doing our SOB, and we're going to come under this outside, this bite that we made with our new string, we're going to come under it and then over under two to split our pair if you don't tie these a lot it hard to remember but see how we're under under now and then when we come back it'll split up but that's an under over under two now we're going to go over one under two to split our pair. Over one, under two to split a pair. Take the twist out of my string. And now we're going to go over two and split that pair and under a 3x, one that way and two that way, to split that pair. Now over one, under two, over one, under two, Over one, under two, to split that pair that's inside, and then we're just going to go out over two. That red bite down underneath there and our outside string. Now we're going to come in and we're going to skip this bite right underneath there. So it's over two coming out, and then we go in under one our interweave string over one and under two to split that pair right there now we got us an over one and under two to split our pair Over two, split a pair. Under two, split a pair. Over two to split a pair. Under our three X. One, two, three. To split that pair. Over one, under two and split a pair. Over one, under two to split a pair. Over two to split a pair. Under two. Going through my string. There, I think I'm clean. 
So we went over two, split a pair, under two, split a pair, and out over those two. The red one, that's our inside bite, and then that outside string. Now, we skip that bite that's down in there, that red one. And we just come under this outside string. We're going to go over one and under two. To split that pair. Now it's over two, split a pair, under two, split a pair. Over two, split a pair, under two, split a pair. Over two, split that pair and go under a three X. One, two, three. Over one, under two to split a pair. Over two, split a pair. Under two, split a pair. Over two, split that pair. And under two to split that pair. And out over those two the red bite inside bite and then that outside gold one. Now we're coming in under. We skip this inside bite. So under over two that inside bite down there and this inner weave string to split that pair and then under two to split that pair getting tight so I have to be careful not to go through a string over two split a pair under two split a pair over two split a pair under two split a pair over two and under our three X to get alongside of our standing end of our interweave string. And that tightened up, filled up just about right. But see how our primary knot is set to the left and our interweave is set to the right. Now, if we wanted to make that a three pass, we could come in under and follow our interweave string here and go out of the knot and do another set of bites out here. Or you could turn it around or you could just come on this side and you could make another set of bites on the outside there. So that if you use the same gold string, you'd have gold bites here and gold bites there with the red inside. And you'd have three nine part seven bite knots tied together. Well, I hope this will get you thinking about type two pineapple knots. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll try tying this knot. Thank you for watching.